Hey guys, I just finished installing my new uh, garage heater. I uh, just got a couple uh, tips I'd like to share and kind of my initial first review of this uh, garage heater. Uh, here's the box right here. It's a Dynaglow uh, vent-free space heater. And it's a dual fuel, so you can use either uh, natural gas or liquid propane. And all you have to do when you get it I'll show you where this is plugged into. Right there, there's a propane plug or the natural gas plug. So you just take out the plug uh, that you're going to use and leave the other one capped off. So that's a pretty nice feature, actually. Um, what I did to run the gas line out to the garage is uh, right underneath here, uh, there's a stud right here. So I went down the basement, and drilled a hole like down in the sill. And I teed into the um, gas line down there and then ran the flex pipe through the hole I drilled down in the sill and I drilled one here. I, I put a piece of kite string on this flex pipe and then tied it to it and I pulled it up through the wall and out through this hole. I couldn't get any farther over this way. Um, so I just made this little bracket at work the other day. Uh, just to kind of hide the gas line. I couldn't get it any higher or any farther over. Uh, so you don't really see it when you're looking at it straight on. Or it actually looks halfway decent. Um, but the reason I bought this is this is my old one right here. Uh, it actually looks pretty cool. And it is a, a blue flame ventless heater. I actually bought this about 17 years ago. And the flame looks kind of like uh, the flame on a regular cook stove. Um, it does not look like these orange ceramic plates. The only thing I really didn't like about it is uh, it is an open flame and uh, if you got really close to it I was always afraid of getting burned or something but it's heated my garage for almost 17 years and quit working about a week ago. So that's what prompted me to go out and buy this one. Now, like I said it's a Dynaglow 30,000 BTU uh, my garage is a hair over 400 square feet and uh, this is supposed to heat uh, up to a thousand square feet and the nice thing about this one is it has a dial here on the top I think it's a setting of one to five so I actually have it set on number two and my garage is probably Oh, it's pretty darn warm out here. It's about 29 degrees outside and it's probably 55 in the garage. So I'm probably going to leave it set on number two. There's really no reason to keep it any warmer in here. Um, but initial review, it's, you know, it's not the coolest looking uh, heater I've ever seen. Uh, one nice thing is you don't have an open flame so you don't have to worry about kids or something bumping into it getting burned. Uh, even right up next to it. I mean, I can put my hand on there and it just stopped and it's, it's warm, but it's not hot. Um, and like I said, installing it, uh, there's a, you probably can't see it. Right there, there's a little hanging bracket. There's two screws and the bracket at the top kind of angles out and this just slides right on top of it. And uh, I already had the gas line there, so my total install time was probably 15 minutes all I had to do was take out the plug for the natural gas, screw the bracket to the wall, uh, hang the heater on it, and then screw the gas line to it. Uh, it was very simple. Uh, very good instructions. And like I said, it's only been on for maybe, let me look at my watch, not even 13 minutes, and it's heated up my garage really well. Um, I'm gonna step back and show you how close it is to my cabinets. Uh, there's my garage cabinets. It's only about 10 inches below my cabinets. And I was a little worried about um, the cabinets getting warm, but they're really not warm at all. Well, so, although I'm really pleased with it, and uh, if you guys are looking for a good garage heater, um, this should probably heat easily a three car garage, possibly a four car. Um, so my in initial impressions are well, it's very good for the money. Uh, I caught this on sale at Menards for $169. So, uh, one thing to look out for, they make this exact same model without uh, this thermostat. 
So it's set on number two and it will kick on and off and keep the garage at the same temperature. Now they make another one that's identical to it, uh, but I believe the, I'm gonna show you the part number here. I believe this, let's see, maybe this number here is different. And that one is $129. And the difference is that does not have a thermostat. So say you turn it, it has a low, medium and high actually. So say you turn it on low and it just keeps burning and burning and burning until you shut it off. So just be aware of that. If you see one that's, that's you know, really cheap and go, wow, well, that's a heck of a deal. Um, if it doesn't have the thermostat, you're gonna have to go out and manually turn it on, turn it off, which I did not want to do. So uh, just for like, a, I think it was number $49. This one was the thermostat controlled one. So anyway, uh, easy install. Uh, doesn't look so great. Um, but it works extremely well and directions were nice and clear. So hopefully this video helped you out if you're looking for one to decide on kind of looking between uh, this heater or that heater then hopefully my review will help you out and decide on which one to get. So thanks for watching.